Today I'll show you how to create the voice effect from these clips. Ninja looks raw. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not hooked on it. So a keyboard warrior most critical. We all knew that he wouldn't accept a fight. The exact effect I'm talking about is a studio reverb and there are two ways you can do this in Premiere Pro. The first way is you can set up your audio layers to have different effects and voices on each layer and you can set this up using the audio track mixer. For example I have three audio tracks set up. Each one has a deesser, denoise and click remover. These three are good for removing harsh s, click and background sounds and noises in your voice recording. There's also a parametric equalizer effect to enhance the quality of the voice. You can double click on these to edit the settings but most of the time the default setup is sufficient enough. The studio reverb effect is the only one that's specifically needed to create the funny gossip voice and I've added it on both audio track 2 and 3 with each one having different settings and intensity so you can use more than one to create a different voice for each redditor or twitter user comment you are reading out. And all you have to do is cut your audio layer up and move them to their appropriate layers. For example, the first layer will have my regular voice. Today I'll show you how to edit a clip from Patrick CC's Little Dicky video. The second layer will have a voice mimicking a tweet or comment from someone that I'm reading out. Today I'll show you how to edit a clip from Patrick CC's Little Dicky video. And the second layer will use the voice for a third comment or person that I'm mimicking. Today I'll show you how to edit a clip from Patrick CC's Little Dicky video. So you can mimic a back and forth conversation between two other people or comments and replies to each other. The second way you can do this is you can edit the essential sound settings of a specific clip. If you scroll down to creative on the essential sound panel and select reverb and change it to auditorium or any other preset that you prefer and play around with the amount until you are happy with it. You can also save this as a preset. I don't really like this method since it doesn't flow smoothly between side by side clips. Today I'll show you how to edit a clip from Patrick CC's Little Dicky video. Either way you have two ways to do this, do what works for you. It's useful for drama or commentary videos where you are reading out tweets and comments from other people. Thanks for watching, see you next time.